outside here in Laguna Hills, California. We're at a car event called Sunday Steel. Check it out, keep watching. A lot of nice cars are supposed to be out today. Guys, so we made it finally to the event. I got a cool spot right by some uh, other cars. G80 competition. And we have this slant nose. This is Jessica's slant nose over here, which we re reviewed before. Really cool car. cool that uh the f80s are just still holding it down um f8x f82 f80 uh these cars are still holding it down and i've always said it, it's, a, it's a really cool design that design just won't um die yeah man we got the g80 back out here is a really really built F80. Yeah she did some like carbon fiber work on the side. Apex wheels. I mean he probably does real good on the track because at the end of the day um, so whenever you have a big wing you always want a big front lip just for the downforce uh, to keep it where it just makes sense. Oh man okay dialed in it looks good. It looks good. It looks like it probably means business on the track. Lambos have that look. So we have Daniel with his uh, ultraviolet G80 on HREs. Really cool. Carbon fiber brakes. Uh, he has the red bucket seats. Then Mark with his uh, Austin Yellow F80. And I think I've reviewed this before. The M3 F80 versions, very limited in production with this color. So it's really cool to see it in four doors. The two doors, actually, they made a ton of two doors. So it wasn't as uh, rare. So we'll just walk through this section and see if there's anything we can find that's um, interesting. This might be a Ruby Star Neo uh, GT3 RS. Really cool. Uh, I just love PTS colors on the 911. If you're not going to be a black 911, uh, definitely go for PTS. This looks pretty much stock, but I mean, there's really not much you need to do to it. They they build these cars like uh, show cars, uh, also track cars, so not really much needed. <laughs> There's a uh, GT2 RS. This is from the 991 generation, as opposed to the other one that was uh, 992. So this one's a little bit older, but still looks really aggressive. Carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber side, 
uh, fenders and just a lot of carbon fiber, man. Really, really nice car. that color a lot of times if you just get the right color you're good this looks like their actual color of the car but they did some sort of satin ppf over it and when you have a satin ppf what's really cool you protect the car but you also get a different color you know which is uh which is really nice and bbslms uh these look really Really cool. Uh, 996. Looks like it's wrapped. Because this is definitely not a. I mean, it could be. It could be paint. We can't expect everything to be wrapped nowadays. Really cool with the green and gold. I always thought green and gold looks really well together. Cool. Uh, AMG wagon. With the big, big V8. Really cool drop and lower it a little bit with some spacers. This would actually look like a really cool build right here. Just fun to, to play with really. But also throw groceries in the back and hang out with the fam. You can do that in those wagons. E90 M3. A white E90 M3 with a slick top. Uh, let's see if it's a manual. Let's see if he got the trifecta. Oh, it's a manual. So he definitely did it. He did the uh, slick top, Alpine white, BBS wheels, manual. Yeah, red interior. He just checked all the boxes with that one. Here's an E46 M3 with the Alpine white. Uh, red interior uh, which is also another slick top so some cars just have it oh we got the homie out here with his uh his m2 so we have the the old m2 and the new m2 uh together it's like a wrap gt3 tiffany blue really aggressive really really aggressive uh, then you have another GT3, which actually looks wrapped also. Uh, a little bit more standard items. Look at this wagon, Audi wagon with the HREs. That's really cool. And he did like a slight little tint, a uh, yellowish tint, which kind of gives it like a different look, you know. Um, and then the deep, the deep dish in the rear. I'm pulls it off. Yeah. I know. We got the Lambo came out. really like this color man this is a uh, really interesting it goes very well with the brown interior Lamborghini Countach out here on some super deep dish wheels look at that 
These things are so low. Yeah, really low. Um, and right next to it is a 458 with some BBS LMs. <laughs> really really like it i mean there's something special about having older supercars like a view of a gen 1 so the gen 1 um it's still an r8 it looks good i mean you still get that rear motor uh through the glass window uh, i'm in the back man gt3 rs and uh the cool thing is this is the color i believe that was on the uh, forza 7 video game Even though the Porsche has a rear motor truck in the front, but uh, that glass window is like the key. And R8 gets you there. Definitely gets you there. And this one's a V8. Uh, and it's uh, supercharged by VF Engineering. So you can expect with VF Engineering supercharged, you can expect like maybe an extra 200 horsepower. Brooklyn Gray G80. Carbon buckets. <laughs> our car, our car. 2017 and up. R8. So these are actually considered like the Gen 2 R8. And uh, I just love the way they look compared to Gen 1. Gen 1s are really good price right now though. So it's kind of hard because if you were to get a Gen 1, you'd possibly just care about just having an R8, but if you get a Gen 2, you get that look that looks a lot more modern. And one of my favorite movies as a kid, and uh, it's really cool to see a DeLorean out here. Oh man. It actually looks really, really good condition. Really good condition. Yeah, there's like this this speed that you had to go to actually go in, back into time or something like that. Like you had to hit that number, and in the an 88 was it 88? 88 miles oh, 88 miles an hour, man. Hey, hey, if it's wrong, you guys put it down in the comments. But 88 miles an hour, you go back into uh, the future to any time that you put on a dash. Black 911 992, and it's not it's not even special. Uh, other than being a 911 i mean that's just a base model carrera and look how wide that car looks uh in a 991 in older days you had to be a narrow body or wide body but now everything's wide body in a 992s this is interesting two yellows the uh f82 and the G82 um, launch colors. So this one's the Austin yellow on the left and Sao Paulo yellow on the right. So it's just to kind of let you guys know as time moved on, how cars have just changed in the style of colors. Wide body E46 M3. So this could either be a Rocket Bunny or a Liberty Walk kit. Uh, you guys let me know, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Red seats, has a lot of Alcantara inside. Uh, Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. You just can't beat this top of the line. It even has the uh, center lock carbon fiber roof. Such a good color. Good color, good styling. Um, this car is actually long in person. So if you actually were standing right here, you'd notice like, man, this is a really long car. It'd take up the entire, entire um, garage. Definitely supercar status. Really, really aggressive uh, build. Oh, 
Oh, and he has ears. F82 M4. Look at those fenders. Really, really rare. Work wheels. I think he did a really good job uh, with this build. He actually has a white roll cage inside, Recaro bucket seats. Uh, hey, you got the steering wheel also, man. That, that came out real well. Yeah, really, really cool build. Um, I, I really like when I see people put custom touches. The red angel eyes and the uh, paint looks like... Okay, so the paint is wrapped, okay. Which is okay. Wrap the paint is okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, straight up, just upload me straight up. I like it. It looks really mean. And he has the Kailami uh, orange interior, which is what's really cool is he has a Kailami orange stripe on the steering wheel. So, uh, really cool. Uh, G80 M3 looks like a wrap. If it wasn't wrapped, I would have thought it was uh, Santorino blue. But uh, pretty cool. I mean, it looks like two buddies with with buckets, both competition. Uh, this one's also competition with the uh, stone buckets. Looks good, but this one's not a wrap. This one's an actual uh, red paint. Yeah, man. Hey, bro, clean, clean. All of them. All of them. Daniel with his individual G80, beautiful car. This is a F80 M3 CS. I just met the guy and uh, he's really, really happy with his car. And it's kind of hard when you have a CS, you almost aren't super excited to move to the G80, but um, very understandable. Then you have a uh, GTRs and all the JDM builds on this side. A lot of cool builds. We got Creddy. Creddy came out. That's right. Uh, going to Seika. A lot of nice cars. Pretty much all the cars that you would want to see um, in a music video or a meet. This is it right here. 